Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I have another lock from Dawn Picks for you. I put the link to the unboxing here, where he lent me quite a bunch of locks and one of this was this nice Zeiss Icon. It's a 5 pin lock with a very good bidding. The keyway looks challenging at first, but actually you have quite some space from, from picking from this ledge here. So here you can just go down all the way. And yeah, this works fine for picking. Also, you can use a nice pry bar in one millimeter and have a good core control. So yeah, let's get this in the vise and pick it. I've not seen the insides, so I'm excited to get this on camera. See you in a moment. So here we are back in the vise. Looks just fine. Here's the bidding again. Get the tensioner in. Uh, one millimeter flat pry bar. Sits super snug in there. And medium hook, um, the PN07 in 0 0.6 millimeters. So working my way all through the back. Something on five and six. Uh, four and five. Sorry, it's only five pin lock, right? Two, three, four, five. Let's check again. One is good. Two feels good. Three springy. Four, no, five is binding heavily. Okay, good for the set. Oh, I think that's. That's uh, three now, giving good counter rotation. Got it set, I think, but others dropped. Some clicks on four, five, and reopen. Cool. So let's try to cut it. And yeah, it's one of these very nice um, size icon clips. You can just pry off like this, hopefully. Okay. So we have mastering in chambers one and four, and it seems like we don't need the mastering in chamber four, but only in chamber one. that would make this lock a bit more attractive. So I will ask Don if I can remove it. Yeah, but besides from that, let's have a look at the pins. So here's the total. We have steels in steel standard driver and standard key pin in 
chamber one with the master wave I cannot remove due to the key. And then we have spools in two, three, four, and quite massive master keying in, in chamber four, which I could remove with this key. So I'll ask if I can. And yeah, and five is just a standard. Okay, that's all for now. Maybe I will be back in a second with a quick pick without the masters and four, but we'll see. Anyhow, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye. Ah, stop, stop, stop. Don't turn off. <laughs> Bonus feature. I just asked Don and he gave me clearance to remove these two unnecessary wafers in chamber four. So um, I just left in the one wafer in chamber one, which I couldn't remove. And in order to believe me, um, I wrote it even on the lock, so it must be true. <laughs> because I won't get it afterwards, it's just all the same all over again. And just believe me that I removed it, but maybe we will see any of them picking. So I just picked one, two, Test five. Okay. Got five and we're in a nice fourth set. So let's try to find the spool. And yeah, I just switched to a steeper hook. The, the PN04, which is much steeper. And I just lost the fourth set, so let's try to set five, maybe. Five wasn't binding, but two was. And now five is binding heavily, so... Still binding. And I just dropped a lot of pins. <laughs> Two, three. Five's not binding, so let's test again. Click on two. Three is happy. Okay, five. And now four is binding again. So nice deep fourth set. Let's try to set four. Without dropping too much else. I think I got it. And hopefully only five has dropped. Yes. Okay. Whew. Yeah, so this is one of my quicker picks. I tried it a couple of times throughout the wafers now. And yeah, it really increases the difficulty. Before I didn't need to change uh, to a steeper hook. And now I really have to because I just cannot set it with the shallow or medium hook. So yeah, if you stayed around for this bonus feature, thanks for watching and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.